In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to complete the second half of a somewhat complex project, where we take a blurred image of part of the video you see on the screen, cause it to occupy the left half of the screen, and then drop on top of that some titles that appear as it were out of nowhere. Please look at this somewhat finished example and then we'll show you a bit more. Now at this point, here's what we've been able to do. We've taken that blurred part and moved it to the center of the screen with a border and locked it in there. If I play the video for a bit, you're going to see that. So let's play. We watch it cover the left half of the screen and lock in. It's on top of this blurred image that we're going to do some titling. And that'll be the focus of this part of our tutorial. So now I have my image on the left side, I want to add some titles. I'm going to click on the T, get into the title room. Then I'll take the default My Title and drag it down to the next track. Now, I don't want it all the way to the left side. That's why I set myself a timeline marker. When I hover over it, I see the name of it. It says Slide In Finished. I don't want the title to start to appear on the screen in any way until we get to this point in time. So I'm going to take it and nudge it right up against that timeline marker. So let's do a little bit with this title. I'll double click to get into the title designer. And let's say we want the first of it to be a little more subtle. So I'm going to highlight the, my title and let's change the size a little bit. Let's go down maybe to 28. And let's say we want it to say something like, please join. And we'll leave it on the left side, centered on that left panel near the top. And we notice that if we leave it the way it is, it's going to kind of disappear into the background. So let's change the font face color. I'll go from white and go in my color picker. And let's go to a navy blue. That looks pretty good. I'll click on OK. And then let's we'll take and give it a border as well. Click on the border controls. The default is red. Why, I don't know. But we'll uh, go to white here. Click on OK. We'll change the size of our border to something more subtle like a 1. So now we have the please join. Now also I want to animate this. So with it highlighted, I'm going to click on my animation tab on the left side. Then I'll click on the arrow to expand all my in animation options. I'm going to drag down near the bottom. And let's pick the one that says Unite. So we have Please Join. Now I want to know how long I think I want the animation to continue. That's what this bar here shows. You notice I hover over it. It tells me the kind of animation. And when I move my playhead, it will tell me about where the animation ends here. How long do I want it to take? Well, let's say we want to take uh, 1 second and 15 frames. I'm going to take my timeline indicator and go into the time code and type 15 for frames. It moves it over there. I'm going to right click and do add timeline marker. Here I will say please join animation finish. So now I have this. Now I have to move it with the mouse. So that's about the same. And so I have this reference point that we'll be using in a moment. I'll click on OK. Let's see what we have so far, and we'll play what we have so far. We have everything from last time, plus please join. Okay, now we're going to expand it a little bit more. One thing I want to do is take this and make it longer. So I'll click on it, click on the clock, four seconds. Let's make it 14. It can be much longer than I actually need. I'm going to double click on it again, and you're going to see something that you have to be careful of when you're editing. You notice the please join animation is a lot longer. When you change the duration of a title, it changes it proportionally. So what I need to do now is go back and make sure it's back at my 1 second and 15 frames marker. So I'm put that in there to remind me not if I adjust this exactly where I want that to be. So I'm done with that part. Now let's add three more titles. We're going to add Nautical, Safety, and Team. So I'm going to click on the T in the upper left corner there and type in the word nautical. And we'll take this and move this over to the left side. And let's assume we want to make this stand out a little more. I'll make this bold. And let's go up a little bit in size. Let's go to 30. 
Okay, so I've got nautical. Now I'm going to add another one, safety. And you notice when you do this, it inherits the qualities of the previous text. We'll put it about there, and then I'll add another one, and we'll do team. Now, what we have right now is all the text is on the screen, but notice it's all coming in at the same time. So I don't want nautical to start until after this timeline marker here. So after please join, that's when nautical should start. Now, how long do I want nautical to be on the screen by itself? Well, let's give it two seconds. So I'm, I'm going to add two to this. That'll be 315, press enter. Okay, and then we're going to have it where it says that my word safety starts. So again, I'm going to use a timeline marker. I'll say safety starts here. And so we'll take our safety. We'll shrink down the nautical for now. Take safety and have it start on the timeline marker at 315. And we want to give it another two seconds, which would be 515. And then we're going to add another timeline marker so we know what we're doing. And this will be where our word team starts. And so we'll shrink the safety down for now. And we'll take our team. And now we have them all aligned exactly where we want them to be per frame. Nautical safety team. But we're going to do some extra stuff in a moment. Let's see what this looks like when we play it. And let's play. And we have our background. Please join nautical safety team. Okay. I want to change one thing about each of these three. We're going to have them, instead of just pop on the screen, look like they come out of nowhere. So we're going to double click on our title control again. And what we want to do is we want to take each of these and modify them one more way using a special tool in the title area. We're going to click on nautical, highlight that. So we're going to go to our title reveal mask and turn it on for nautical. Now the default is the entire screen is masked. What I want to do is just mask the words under please join the area below that I'm going to turn off aspect ratio the mask can be a lot bigger than I need it shouldn't be any smaller and then we're going to shrink this down under the please join right about there so what I want to do is figure out when do I want nautical to come down and be there because I'm going to move the word nautical so I need I'm looking at my timeline markers these are helping me figure out where I want to go this one here is when nautical is fully in. So I'm going to back up a couple frames from 315. Let's say we go to 310. Press enter. And I'm going to set a position keyframe here. That's where nautical is going to be at 310. But when nautical starts back here, I'm going to take nautical and I'm going to drag it up so it will be invisible. So it will slide down in this section of time and then be visible. Let's see what that looks like. We stop it and then we play it. Please join. And then the word nautical appears out of nowhere. Nautical is finished. Let's go to safety. Okay, back here again we have this time code. And safety is supposed to be finished at 515. Let's go back to 510. Press enter. And that's where I want safety to be. So I'm going to set a position keyframe by clicking the diamond on the position value. And now I have my keyframe. Safety is there. We're going to add to safety as well a title reveal mask of its own. So I click on title reveal mask with safety highlighted. And again, we're going to turn off aspect ratio. And in this case, we're going to make sure it's below the word nautical. And that's where the word safety appears. We're going to go back to the beginning of safety. And then we're going to set a keyframe by moving it straight up. I can actually put it on top of the word nautical a little bit. I just want it above the area where it will come in. And so now safety will come down as well. That looks good. Let's work on team. All right, the word team. The team should be in, let's see, let's see the time code on this one is 515. It would be 715. It would be fully in. And then what we want to do is make it at 7, 
710. That's our marker there, so we're going to set a position value on the word team. Highlight, make sure team is highlighted. Go back to the beginning of team, where it comes in at 515. I need to set a title reveal mask for the word team as well. Resize my mask or move my mask, doesn't really matter, just above where team is. And now at this point in time where it starts, we're going to have it start just above the area where it's revealed. I'll click on OK. And so we've used three different title reveal masks to bring nautical, safety, and team onto the screen. Let's go back to the beginning of the project and we have our panel coming in, locking in. We have our please join, nautical, and safety, and team. So that's pretty much what we're looking for when we're trying to use this particular effect in CyberLink PowerDirector, bringing in a panel and then dropping down using multiple instances of the title reveal mask in PowerDirector.